Ramble. A little bit of Mardi Gras in my life. <laughs> a little bit of Nazak in I, my life. I have to ask a question that you asked just before we hit record. You turned around and said, Rainy, do you have a little bit of salsa in the backseat? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Rainy, did you bring salsa into my car? So as everybody else was sitting around eating their popsicles, I was masterminding this podcast episode by thinking, look at those salsa things. <laughs> <laughs> you, were th- sorry, you were thinking, look and at And I those- was like, I bet Zach won't drink this whole thing if we ask him to. <laughs> I, I bet you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, interesting. I mean, I will do it because I'm sort of, at this point, Zach's days of sort of being the king of YouTube are over. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm ready to sort of take his throne. Usurp the throne. <laughs> by, by drinking a little salsa that Rainy had. By the way, here's your problem is you got the red sauce. I'm more of the green sauce guy. I actually got one of the green sauce because I knew somebody was going to be a little coward and want the green one wow. instead. And I thought it was going to be sad. A challenge fit for a coward, a challenge built for a king. <laughs> now, Rainy, I would love to drink the sauce. Uh, and I'm wondering <laughs> if by doing it, I'm depriving you of an opportunity to grow into your own. Don't worry, I have three. There's three of us. <laughs> <laughs> you really, you've like Moriarty this shit. You, she's <laughs> one step ahead of you. She's three steps ahead. Oh my god. <laughs> so we're about to do little shots of salsa. Well, mm-hmm. I think we should wait till we get to your house, so we're in the comfort of your own ha- home. Yeah. So that Bowie, when I, I have to Bowie, shit though. my pants. I, yeah. When, when you have to shit your pants. <laughs> uh, excuse me. We're on our way to Zach's house, and I've obviously been there before. Rainy, have you ever been to Zach's house? Actually, here's a gripe that I have. When I first started the company, all three, Zach, Eugene, and Keith, all had birthday parties first summer. So (gasps) I was too nervy. I was like, oh, I don't know anybody here. I'm like, you know, super Mm -hmm. inverted. So I was like, ah, like, you know, I'll I'll get them next year. Yeah. And you guys haven't had them since. Oh, interesting. I'm trying to think. I don't, uh, what, how old am I? I didn't have a, did I? It was at the office, actually. That was your birthday party at the office. Or the fire alarm went off. Yeah, and so, so what? Were you in, your house. Were you invited and you just didn't come, or were you not invited? You were certainly invited. I was invited. It, that happened to be, I actually, like, did have other things that I had to do that weekend. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> this is classic the baseball game, where Rainy was like, oh my god, everyone's going to the baseball game, and then Zach and Keith bullied me into going. Yes. <laughs> and then I went, and Rainy didn't even go. Well, yeah, that day I was sick. <laughs> <laughs> baseball is kind of boring. I mean, I'll... I don't want to upset any baseball heads out there. Yeah. But I do find that the game is more about talking to your friends it's and the, the hot dogs and the culture, the culture and the beers. And the energy. And the energy of the stadium and the crack of the bat. The crackle of the crowd when you go, look, that moment when you hear the crack of the bat and the people running in the whoa! <laughs> like, that's, that's summertime, baby. I will say I went to a Yankee game when we were in New York uh, with much. Keith and, <laughs> and the, Keith and the gang. Yeah, I was and, there too. You were there. I was trying to remember. And uh, I just, I don't think I've ever been to a baseball game like that. And I don't know that I'll ever go to one since. (laughs) You know, truly, Rainy, gun to my head, I don't remember what I did for my birthday last year. We went on that, we went on on that honey, on that romantic vacation (laughs) together. I remember because Maggie had a really cool birthday party where yes. she was emo. Emo style. That was a small party, yeah. and I got yeah. in trouble for that. Yeah, I remember this because I got um, I was annoyed that I wasn't invited, and then I realized that it was only four people or something. It was well, it wasn't four people, but it was small. But it was so dope and How photographed small? Small? so well. Small? <laughs> <laughs> well, and 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 like here's here's actually how I got in trouble is that yeah. I didn't invite my best friend in the world, who oh. his wife is good friends with, like. They right. like each other, but I'm thinking so much is about me. This mm-hmm. is about Maggie. Right. Let's mm-hmm. like throw her a party that mm-hmm. uh, that is all like you know. And it was maybe what twenty people, no, 20, 30, 40 people, mid size, 40? 30, 40 people, fifty, a hundred. Oh, okay, so now 30, 20 people. Well, I'm trying to think. Everyone's a like fucking couple, so I feel like if you invite fifteen people, it's like thirty people. You know? Oh, a lot of married friends, huh? Yeah, yeah, we're old. Classic. So anyway, I, I got in trouble for that. So that's the new the see, if you're gonna throw a small party, don't make it super dope. Do you like throwing parties? By the I way, I love parties. Yeah, I like hosting, even though when the the process of it is stressful. Um, and that party was so fun. It was her death to her 30s party. So it was like themed. It was emo. We had costumes for everybody. We had like little like coffins and skulls everywhere. That's so good. Honestly, so my 30th birthday is in September. Oh! 
And I'm planning a little party. Um, and uh, I mean, you guys are both invited. Hell yeah. But uh, I got to figure out what the theme is because it's hard to think about a theme for a 30th birthday because it's like 30th birthday could just be the theme, but I want it to be themed. A couple oh, yeah. of the ideas going around. One of them was circus. <laughs> which I think is pretty funny. And I want it to be a big bash where maybe I dress up like a ringleader or something. Okay. You know, I think there's oh. a lot of fun to be had. My last birthday, I uh, I bartended my own yeah. birthday. And it was really fun. And me and my friend, not the whole time, but it was a huge blasty and we made spe- special little drinkies and it was great. What if it's like daddy's home themed and it's <laughs> everyone has to dress up like a, like a, like daddy? a dad. A daddy, daddy themed, dad theme, and ever so all the women have to wear high waisted uh, cargo pants and and <laughs> tucked in shirts, polo shirts, and, and mustaches. All the men have to do what? And all the men have to also do that. <laughs> yeah. And we play call her daddy. <gasps> Hilarious. <laughs> Rainy gasped. I know. Gasp call her ringing. daddy. I mean, I can't even get into that. But I, I. What about call him mommy? Is that a podcast idea I could do? I got in trouble with the. I got in trouble with the internet. You did? You got canceled? I accidentally, uh, how, do, how do I best describe? How do I best set this up for TikTok? Oh, that's a good question. Okay, here we go. I was canceled last week. I got in trouble with the internet and I accidentally went toe to toe with Call Her Daddy. No way, are oh you kidding? Oh my gosh, Zach versus Alex? <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> Cooper. <laughs> there was a video I was reacting to in which someone was was doing this move. Uh, I was not aware that that is referred to as the, the Gluck Gluck, Gluck. 9000. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you, you are familiar. Yeah. And so I implied that that wouldn't feel great because I thought I was thinking of it in a dry situation and perhaps the rope burn. A dry situation? I don't know. I was just thinking that you're going in different directions and I thought it would burn. Um, but people... You're thinking about it in a sterile, dry heat. <laughs> like the thing that kids, bullied kids will do when they rip on your arm and it burns. I, I was thinking of a, a rope burn on the dick. Yeah, you were thinking of a rug burn on the dick. And, um, I, yeah, people were quick to, to call me out, to tell me that I did not know about the Gluck Gluck. Yeah. And that I was a fool. You gotta get into the Gluck Gluck. <laughs> Zach, let me tell you, you got a fun couple weeks ahead of you. <laughs> it was very funny going around the office and people being like, oh, it's a, I mean, yeah, never mind. <laughs> it's because it's so funny. The gluck, gluck. But it was so the Call Her Daddy fan base is apparently, it was, they hold the name Gluck Gluck to their hearts. The Gluck Gluck is strong. And for yeah. those who don't know, the Gluck Gluck is a specific type of fellatio that in, involves the hands moving in counter directions uh, in a rhythmic fashion. Zach teaching sex ed. As, po- <laughs> <laughs> as popularized by Alex Cooper on the Call Her Daddy podcast. Did she popularize it? I think that's what got her famous, was how to give a good... <laughs> so how to give a good, by the way, in case you were wondering if your ca- your audio in your car cut out, maybe you just stopped a sentence on a dime. It was like, I was like, how am to I get allowed good? to say that? Am I allowed? Because I don't I, know what that is, actually. I don't know what it is. I've never heard the, the, the audio exam. <laughs> I've never heard someone vocally slam on the brakes like that. It was wild, yeah. She stopped on a fucking dime. It was good. It's like an F1 car. <laughs> but yeah, no, I think that she a, I think that she popularized it. What a and claim she kind of to revolutionized fame. BJ's. Wow. What a le- legacy to leave behind, to be honest. <laughs> like her her grandchildren would be like, my grandma. My the one. Grandma Glucky. <laughs> oh my god, Grandma Glucky. Put that on a fucking hoodie. <laughs> uh, someone who we work... Okay, I'm going to tell the story vaguely. But someone who we work with, they were looking at her mother-in-law's... Like, they were cleaning something out, yeah. and she had a list, and it was men I've went with. <gasps> And oh, it was, oh my which is such an adorable way to claim yeah, it's it. so funny. And it was a list of names, and then it got to the person's father, and then the name was underlined, and then the list continued after he died. And it was like where they lived and a ye- <laughs> and a year. And so we're th- we're looking at this and we're like, where they live? Is this a like? Is this a list of like I went with? Did she go on a date with them? Is she glucking with them? Oh like my what? God. 
I mean, I think I saw my my friend Sophie, and and I met her in elementary school, but then this was high school. She had a list, but she also included how far she went, and Uh, that she knew a lot more than me. I don't want the list. No, I want yeah. uh, my experiences are burned behind me. I'm sort of like <laughs> <laughs> my memories are a burning bridge that I'm just fleeing across. What's my body count? Not even I know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I want it. I want it to be a mystery even to myself. Yeah. I don't want. I don't want a paper trail. Or it's like a list of everyone you've kissed. My friend actually had an idea that she wanted to write a book that she would go back and uh, meet slash interview every person she had ever kissed. <gasps> That's pretty good. As a book, and I thought that was a great idea. I think that is a good idea. It's a good yeah. podcast series. It is a good podcast series. Um, well, Zach, uh, we are getting sort of into the aura epicenter near your house, and so we're going to cut so we don't sort of tell everyone right where you live so they can come give you a little kiss at your address. <laughs> we are currently outside. I'm wearing Zach's Crocs because we're trying to get the intro shot, <laughs> um, but then also I'm supposed to not. Uh, we, he's a shoeless household, which is honestly chic, Granny. Um, I tried to be no shoe household for a little bit, but then I forgot. I find that Sarah and I do not have the lifestyle to pull it off. No. Um, but, but it any- is cleaner and more efficient. Yes. But <laughs> yes. <laughs> we are knocking on Zach's door. <laughs> Hello, Hi, Bobo. Bobo. Come Hi. here. Hi. How's it going? Hey, Vogue. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my home. Come on in. Let's come Kick in. Kick off those shoes. Zach, it's so nice in here. Oh, um, it's really the door. your house. Oh, we got the cables trapped in the door, which is something you wow. something I see as an audio engineer you don't want, which a lot of people don't know. Welcome everybody to my home. Hello, Rainy Miles. You haven't been here for a while. Rainy, welcome for the first time. It's beautiful. Look at this. The decor. You're putting me and Eugene slam dunking us. Yeah, right. wow. Now, we Zach- kind of put all of our energy into one wall. Yeah, <laughs> as we yeah. should. I mean, there's just such cute photos of you and Maggie getting engaged and married. And then with all the accoutrement that you'd yeah. need for yeah. a wall, a disco ball, This a is pink kind thing. of, yeah, this is like the adult boops and bops wall. Um, we've got these psych- little psychedelic touches, this mirror that looks like it's melting. I kind of, I want the decor of the house to be elevated, but make you feel slightly like you're on drugs at all times. Mm-hmm. I like that for you, Zach. Thanks. Yeah. Well, Zach, um, I figure the first <laughs> thing, we, oh, Bowie's just sort of licking my knee. <laughs> He's sort of getting the goods. Hi, oh, by the way, I'm so sweaty. It's been so fucking hot. I know, it's been Rainy, um, the camera, let's, yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sweaty and hot, Zach, so I think I'm going to have to cool off with a nice refreshment from Zach's fridge. <laughs> Kitchen tour. I, I don't know. I feel like I'm no longer able to truly plug because I know this space, but I, so I think y'all need to lead the way. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Let's, let's well, definitely go let me ahead show you This painting is cool. It's oh, pink. Yeah. It's, it's super... You th- did this? No. <laughs> I mean, it's beautiful. <laughs> the pink is intense, though, right? That's, oh, oh yeah. that is cool. It's sort of psychedelic. Yeah, man. Your house is very sort of chic, and it's, it's one of those... It's cozy. It's cozy, yet it's also cozy has... And airy. ...has that modern je ne sais quoi. I'll um, film you. Oh, yeah, there we go. Zach's okay, going to take the cinematography angle. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, we uh, also, I will say, we... Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's going to be a kitchen that I'm going to spill a sauce in. This is what about the kitchen made you have that reaction? Because your kitchen it's is so, so beautiful and, and crisp. Like and I just think about and pristine. And it's just like, I'm going to mess that up. I'm going to mess this sauce. I'm going to mess this soy. I'm going to mess a freaking hot. And you've got a double oven. Yeah. Doven. Doven. A doven. Literally, I, Zach is rocking a doven. In case you were wondering how the company's doing, Zach has a doven. Uh, we, I will say for the record that the place is not normally this clean. My grandmother was over and we were terrified. Oh yeah, you said and this last week. Yeah, we we cleaned like demons. So, so. do you watch TV on that? Because it, 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 you've got a nice flat screen. Yeah, no, so we have... But this is so cool. Like, kitchen flat screen? Yeah, kitchen flat no, screen. No, this is one of those TVs that's supposed to just be art, but then we got it and we installed it and it turns out you have to pay for more art. So we just oh. have the standard default art, and we've never we don't use. Oh, it. it's not really TV; it's just so art. So he got the custom Dovin, but he didn't want to pay <laughs> the ten bucks a month for the new art. <laughs> I just we were looking like art. <laughs> well, we figured that the we Benny Binge. Yeah, we, we were Benny we're saving Binge for a third art. oven. <laughs> it was. <laughs> it was, you know, like like art's expensive, nice art. So I was like, oh, yeah. if we get TV, then we have all the art that we want. No, I like though. Is it a frame? frame shout out to the brand frame so i'd like to sort of get into your fridge i think first and foremost yeah, i'm a bad snacker and i think you are going to be disappointed and here's what? A- oh is this a soda stream 
Uh, yeah, it's a, it makes bubbly water. Wait, holy shit, that's a fucking litty soda, soda stream, though. You know what? I've always <laughs> been looking for a soda stream that is um, bespoke. It's an arc, mind, mind your manners. Well, no, this is what I'm saying. So it's an arc. Arc. A-A-R-K-E. I've been looking for a soda stream that is not plastic because I'm sort of like into the, you know, tools of it all. Yeah, we got this one because it, it's just freaking hot looking. It's uh, It's got this like sleek carbon yeah. fiber. It looks like it could bend you, against, bend you over the table. <laughs> Miles is sexually attracted to the social stream. <laughs> the soda stream. Well, it's an arc, not a soda stream. Okay, first of all, I'll just say, Zach, someone made eggs. That's <laughs> dirty pan on that's the oven. That's gonna be Maggie. Wait, are these eggs or are those? It looks like Maggie made. Yeah, it looks like a frittata. Yeah, that's, a, that's gonna be the queen of the household making her eggs. The queen of I, the household. Yeah, that's, oh. that's eggs, all right. Y'all know that I'm a smoothie man. Hold on, I gotta. The, it's over here. Oh, you sorry. gotta come with me. Wait, sorry. I tried to raise the blinds, and Zach no, said I had blinds to. Over. Zach said I had to come over to the other fucking side of the room. We got electric blinds. <laughs> Hey, I know you wanted to move the blinds. You actually had to go halfway across the house if you wanted to do that. That's lit, though. Every morning you come in and you're like, all right, it's daytime, bitch. And I press the button. <laughs> press the button. Well, I did want to get it like voice activated, but that costs so much more. Alexa, light me up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can get it like where it's like all connected to all your smart apps and yeah. like every morning at 7 a.m. You're right. but it's so much. So when you're like Alexa play Drake on Spotify, it sort of opens your blinds. Yeah, and, yeah exactly. It does. <laughs> it does. Okay, every so was, morning the blinds raise and it's like. <laughs> <laughs> when I was in college. <laughs> all right. So I don't, listen, I don't listen to a lot of Drake. Why don't we do a security cam angle? Oh, that's good. <laughs> 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 Let me help you. Yeah. Yeah. So I've uh, mounted the camera to the top of my s my stove top, and uh, now we're gonna do a little fridge raid. <laughs> okay. Oh fuck no! We should put the camera in the fridge. <gasps> oh yeah. That is nice. But then you're not gonna be able to see the stuff in the fridge. All right, cool. Uh, I I'm again. I'm not convinced that we have many goodies. I am. Oh, I'm convinced. All right, Daddy. I'm not a snacker. Um, I try to not buy snacks. If you don't buy snacks, you don't eat snacks. So. All right, well, here's the tre I think the treasure trove is really the freezer. Okay, let's see if he's got that cream. It frozen broccoli. <laughs> 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 We've got frozen blueberries, frozen broccoli. Uh, I mean, uh, something that's going to be nice for us is the riced cauliflower. Something that's going to be <laughs> nice for us. I mean, you've got some... <laughs> Uh, lots of dog food. Oh, what's this thing? This is like a, it's like a cylinder. It's a vase. This is, um, this is a, you put wine in there oh. and it like stays chilled. Ooh, that's So nice. you put it in the freezer so it's chilled. A chilled wine? Yeah. That's kind of, wait, ooh, that's, I'm liking that. Yeah. Are you into wine recently? I don't drink wine. Maggie says wine? She drinks wine. Sometimes. Yeah. yeah, it's like one of those things that we got <laughs> like to, to host people. It's like it's it's like not that. for us. It's for other people. Now I'm sniffing around and sort of I saw a lemon bar sort of frittata ice cream in there. Yeah, that's yeah. And that's is that for Would you? you like some ice cream? No, I'm wondering if <laughs> that's for you. A lemon bar frittata? Uh, what is it? Jenny's lemon dairy Jenny's, free. I've never had this flavor. Punchy lemon, oh. shortbread crust, and a rich coconut cream. See, this is why the, we're just, our backs are to the camera. <laughs> well, that's a good, so you know what? That's a good point. Let's move the camera. You guys keep chit-chatting. Look what I got here. Little vegan treat. I was looking at that. That looks amazing. Some chocolate chip cookie dough. I got it at Air One. My cousin was visiting from out of town, so I brought him to Air One. Oh, yeah, you gotta. <laughs> it's now just like a tourist trap, Air One. Um, but I did leave it in the car. It said that you should refrigerate it. It was not refrigerated the whole time. I'm not sure if it's safe to eat. But also, what's fucking in it? You know, blanched almonds. I can eat that. Huh. You want know, a little vegan treat? It actually wasn't very good. Blanched almonds much? I would say this is the kind of vegan food that makes you go, yeah, no, fuck that. I'll take the diarrhea. This is a type of fruit. <laughs> By the way, Zach, this is the type of fridge that's going to make me want a snack. So it's surprising that you don't... By the way, I just hit the mother load. Where? Pomegranate seeds. <laughs> are those special? Those are, sorry, those are special. Someone's special little treat. Uh... Zach, just, Zach just started to frown. I called him out for having pomegranate seeds. And in his mind, he thought, I'm going to need those for later. Okay, here's the deal. There's my food. And there's Maggie's food. And that's a pomegranate yeah. for Maggie. Pomegranate is Maggie's food. I don't want to take Maggie's I can't pommies. be going... I can't have y'all... 
Come up in here and eat the queen's treats. No, literally one time my friend from college came over and she started eating my roommate who I didn't know that well or my housemate's food. And I was like, hey, like, that's not mine. Like, you can't eat it. And then she kept eating it. Wait, what? I know. Try this bullshit vegan chocolate chip bite or uh, cookie dough bite. It's a chalky cookie dough bite? It's like, it's like oh, it coconut smells like flake. Coconut, yeah. yeah, it's Pure coconut. It kind of sucks. Pure coconut? I'm deathly allergic. Let me have a little... Are you? Don't no, eat it. No. Oh, by the way, this is actually Ooh. the most... I actually think it's really good. The flavor's good, but the texture the, is like... I think the texture is the best part. Oh, the oh. texture's bad. No, the texture's like <laughs> Rainy's chalky crazy. Mesh. Well, you it know is what dissolving I... in a bad way, but I think on, upon first impact, it's really good. Jack, I think that I'm actually about to out you for being really cool. Okay. You've got a little film canister... In your fridge, yeah, because you, you got to keep film at a certain temperature. And Zach has oh got a Kodak Gold 200. I love Kodak Gold. Uh, for people shooting film, if you're shooting 35 millimeter film, um, there's a lot of beautiful film stock. Uh, Portra is kind of like currently like Portra 400. It that's like the hip one, yeah. and it's gorgeous. It's stunning. I'm not going to deny that. Kodak Gold is like a third of the price. It's a classic, too. and I love it. To me, it looks like memories. Yeah. Um, mm. So I don't think it is the nicest film stock in terms of like the most interesting, the most crisp, the most yeah. whatever. But as my day to day, I'm all about it. And after the dove and you were like, let's just sort of. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's I, save on Kodak. I, by the way, I penny pinch in really funny ways. Let's, no, but I think that I'm the same which, way. Let's by maybe the way. not keep the uh, fridge open. Uh, electricity <laughs> doesn't <laughs> grow on trees. I mean, I'm the same way, by the way. I'll buy dumb bullshit. And then... Like I will go out to dinner. And I know that I'm about to drop two hundo on oh, dinner, or whatever you know. Uh -huh. I won't pay for parking. Yeah, because you're like, <laughs> let's park ten meters, minutes away and walk in the hot sun. Yeah, no, I'm the same way. Um, can uh, I get some water really quick? Yeah. Oh, Do you guys I'm want about any water? to blow your fucking mind. Oh, stop! Is this not a sink moment? Rainy, all you have to do is it's a sink moment. There's a sink moment. It's it's filtered. Oh. Okay, bitch. I'm actually liking the way that this is looking. It's filtered. Rainy, and can you give me a glass as well? Yeah. You, do you want it to bubble? Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, I want it to bubble. All right. Do I want it to bubble? I, by the way, was at the office and we realized I was having a little bit too much spin drift. Oh, I Here's what's going on. The, oh, sorry. Wait. So, the. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's <laughs> making, oh, no. with, he's making some sparkles for me. He's oh. making a sparkle water. Um, so what's going on with the spin drift is that our dishwasher is broken. And so I don't want to get a cup of oh. water. So I've been drinking spin drift instead of water. But it's going to be fixed soon, I think. And it's really intense. Yeah. But Maggie, just like all Maggie my hydration. calls me yesterday and she's like, hey, so I think you should know that uh, your dishwasher stinks. Yeah. And I'm like, uh, yeah. And she's like, oh, no, I just because like. You know, like, you're, I don't know if I should bother you with that, but like, you're the boss. You should know. That's Sorry, so... Maggie, Maggie said that is so cute. And I'm like, yeah, no, it's broken. She's yeah. like, oh, oh, no, I put something in there. <laughs> oh, I put something in there. Yeah, no, it's getting replaced, I think, today, maybe. But it's been, it's been broken for a while. Here, Here we go. Here we go. So you do oh! it, you oh do it until it, like, explodes. <laughs> Speaking of gluck gluck. <laughs> do you want I do. You want ice? Yeah, I want ice. Is that an option? Yeah. <laughs> Is that an option? I'm trying to... Well, I need to... I'm sort of ca ah. I'm cable tied to you, so I'll let you go get the ice, but you have to go with Rainy. We're sort of doing a um, three-legged race yes. <laughs> at all times with the podcast cables. I've thought about a way for us to... No, people have actually asked before, why aren't you doing lav mics? And mm -hmm. that's a great question. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> the reason why initially was because podcast lav mics are omnidirectional, which means that they're capturing sound from all over. So mm -hmm. if the two of us are talking next to each other, essentially like yeah. we'll pick you up on each other's mics just a little quieter and it'll make this weird echoey warble yeah. sound. These are directional mics, so they pick up less sound and they're more like just the immediate proximity. If I yeah. pull away from it, it's like this volume. So yeah. And then if I have well. to cut Miles' audio for some reason, it's yeah. very easy with a directional mic, whereas mm -hmm. with the Omni mic, yeah. it's going to be harder. If Rainy says something really fire yeah. and, and I'm sort of talking <laughs> over it, then she can, she can cut my audio so that you hear from the queen herself. <laughs> now I'm going to try, this is my review of Zach's fancy sparkling Wawa. <laughs> what is it? Talk about gluck gluck. <laughs> Oh my God, that's so fucking good, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's like good spicy water. Yeah, bro. Woo! That yeah! Literally, literally, Zach, is so good. That hit the spot? That's what you're doing on the daily? Yeah. Hey, Drake, turn the fucking blinds up. 
It doesn't even make any fucking sense. I, uh, yeah, I'm drinking all sparkles all the time. That's baby. really nice, man. Honestly, this makes me, um, this actually really is inspiring to me, your kitchen. Wow. Yeah. Just you have a lot. You have a Dakota you, Johnson. Who we've yeah. got a new famous kitchen oh on my the God, block. Shut up, because I Dakota Johnson's kitchen, kitchen is, is the best kitchen, and we wanted to paint this green, and then we decided not to. I think you made the right call because it's light and it's airy. It's a different vibe. It's That's your, why it we did it because it, this room yeah. doesn't get enough natural light. So we yeah. were like, ah, uh, and we wanted to punch a skylight right there, yeah. right above, mm-hmm. and it's it's no. You can't do it. It's so expensive. Oh yeah, a oh, skylight would be huge though. Guys, expensive. Think you should do it. And then they said that also, like, there's no such thing as a perfect seal skylight. Uh, so in X oh, years, AC goes away. And not, stuff? no, not even that. In X years, you're gonna try and sell the house, and they're gonna do an inspection, and they're gonna uh, be like, oh, there's like a leak, and the blah blah blah. blah. Mm, they really rain. talked us out of it. Um, Let's but go to the living room. The yeah. only change that we made in this room because this place was done redone right before we got it. Oh, um, oh cool. And like, so they redid the floors, they redid the electric and they like, this was going to be their forever home. <gasps> then the pan- their hope forever home. Yeah. And then the, the panini hit and they were like, uh, oh, we want to be closer to family, you know, as mm-hmm. happens. Um, as happens. As Go happens. Guess. This house, like this was like during this crazy time where houses were getting snatched up like nuts. Yeah. Go, okay. go ahead. Hey, you don't need a coaster. Um, <laughs> And that, by the way, that's the most stressful thing being in anyone's new house is, oh, yeah. do I have a coaster or do I not have a coaster? I've ruined coffee tables of bat- sabotage friendships. Go on, Zach. So this house um, went into escrow before we could even see it. It was like it got listed on a Monday and by Wednesday it was uh, it. Someone had like they had accepted an offer. We're like, wow. Fuck. And I knew like it wasn't professionally staged. Like I knew this was one that we could get. Um, but then wow, the family, it went into escrow immediately. Like immediately. Before- Wow. And then the family that was going to do it, they were moving here from Detroit and they thought that this was close to their family in Santa Monica. <gasps> it's not. We're oh, in the valley. Oh, that would be a huge mistake. Miles has made the mistake of sitting on the floor and <laughs> Bowie uh, <laughs> has taken that as an invitation for kisses. <laughs> okay, now we're ready. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you um, lay down? So Zach, I guess I have a couple questions about. Like, oh, did he just started Bowie? Just, just I, you know, I did it because I was trying to get him some of my life to be cute, and he just fully stomped on my pee pee. No, your ball sack. Yeah, like ouchy, ouchy. Like mm-hmm. maybe not having children, ouchy. Your corn balls. <laughs> Woo! Okay, buddy, you're so excited, and I know because you gave me a ball, and you think I'm gonna play with you because I'm on the floor, and that's normally when I play with you. But yeah. When, we're working. It's hard to tell a dog that we're not going to play. Yeah. Why don't yeah. you sit down? Sorry, Bubba. It's kind of hard. Sit down and it don't stop my nuts. Baby. Sit down and don't stop my nuts. <laughs> um, so, Zach, basically, like, you come out here, and is there ever a moment where you're sitting here looking over it all and thinking, what a nice house? Yeah, I, lo- I, I love <laughs> my place. Yeah. I, uh, uh, Maggie did a great job of decorating. Mm-hmm. I get very little credit. Um, and... I try and do my best to not fuck it up on the daily. Yeah, because yeah. it's beautiful. You have beautiful floors. It's very, it's very calming, honestly. Yeah, it's very, it's just very like light. Like it's just you come in and it's like, oh, like I can calm, I can be energized. It's like drinking a matcha. <laughs> Your Zach's house is like having a matcha iced yeah. with oat. Uh, with Zach's oat. house is like a turmeric matcha latte with oat on and a, a Saturday. Little dash of rose. Oh, by oh, the way, rose yeah. hips. Rose hips. It makes me feel carefree. It makes me feel breezy and beautiful. There's sort of a light pink going on in the wall. I was going to wonder if you noticed that. We oh, painted. You think I thought it would be just white? No, it's light pink. And I really like it. Th- it just feels like there's so much space. Like I just have like space to just oh, be sh- me. <laughs> oh, space, space, space. <laughs> well, we kind of, it's two living rooms in one. No, it really it's is. Weird. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah, it's it's, um, so when we first moved in, we obviously didn't own two couches and couches take a while to get here. Oh, so yeah. this whole space behind us was fully empty which means I had tons of room to play VR. Oh. <laughs> you could, you could, sorry. The seltzer, the yeah, seltzer almost okay. burped slash made me vomit all over Zach's fancy carpet. 
<laughs> but I'm back now. Well, I didn't yeah, vomit. You can just go ahead and take it from the top. Zach's dog is showing us his ass. In yeah. a sort of <laughs> pres- Show that booty. It's very presentational, honestly. Show that booty. Um, but I will say it's easy, breezy, and beautiful. And I can see Other you girl. sort of getting down with your good thoughts here. You're sort of sitting over on this couch. Yeah. Watching a thinking a f- couch. Watching a show and thinking, wow, this is good film. This is where the guilty pleasures magic happens. Right yeah. there. Uh-huh. I'm sitting there next to those two squishmallows. Yeah. I'm, I'm watching the movie and taking the notes yeah. in the morning i sit here we have these uh little disco balls oh yeah i've noticed that immediately um and certain times of the year we used to have a disco ball in that window too yeah uh, in the morning it was over there and in the afternoon here the light hits the disco ball and shines oh. on the wall and so i call that disco clock oh disco i clock. love that and by the way i love the cactus outside the window oh here's a question yeah so you've obviously got this space that's manicured it's meticulous it's beautiful it's <laughs> breezy it's carefree yeah um, what's a part of the space that when you moved in, you were like, I'll definitely use this part yeah. and it's a place you never go. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> you see in our backyard, there's a garage. Yeah. Uh-huh. So the garage is actually split into two parts and you can see a door. Yeah. The second behind. door. They, they built on like this skinny room and it's skinny room. It's <laughs> <laughs> that's where they had their, their treadmill and yeah. their yoga. It was, it was the yoga room. That's right. And I was like, Oh yeah, I'm going to put my rowing machine in there. I'm going to fucking get it You're going. Always gonna get buff, yeah. And, uh, we, I, I've never gone in that room once. <laughs> it's just the skinny room that no one goes in. Yeah, I keep my bike in there. Oh, you know what it reminds me of is Barbarian, that movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and what, That's I mean, interesting. Otherwise, like things I thought that I would... I mean, we, we are trying to redo the, the backyard um, to like make it more hosting. Because mm. um, ah. if you, like we only have this like little little baby table, so we want to put like a bigger table outside. Because it's California, you can do that. Mm. Oh my god! By the way, it's so hot right now. Honestly, in my own backyard, uh, <laughs> we put um, fake grass on where it used to be this weird fucking concrete patio, and with the baby, so we put fake grass out there. Because one, you it's told Cal- us it's California. I think I did tell you, but it, we've been hanging out there all the time. We have a little hammock now. It's been working. It's it been is getting like, you outside. It is also, vitamin D. Sorry, Zach's dog is like <laughs> really <laughs> trying to French Zach. Yeah. Because what he does is he kisses as a way to be like, play with me. Yeah. Like, that's his only way of communicating. Yeah, I mean, I communicate the same way. <laughs> okay. Like, here, we'll, we'll fucking start shit. Here we go. That was a little too on the nose. <laughs> Bowie. Oh, here's a question. When you and Maggie are hanging out in here, where do you guys hang yeah. out? Do you ever sit at the table together? So that's, <laughs> we, we eat at dinner. But honestly, I feel like that's my living room and that's Maggie's living room. <laughs> Mag- you're like, you're socializing over there. You're just doing your separate but, but same activities. Yeah. Honestly, a cohabitation space is really important. Sarah and I do that all the time. Although we're like, it's like, I love to be in the same room as her doing, but we're doing separate activities, but we can kind of chime in with each other. Oh yeah. Like it's like, I'm playing switch or I'm on my whatever I'm, she's reading or like I'm watching TV and she's doing something or vice versa. It's nice to be cohabitating in a space. I just um, threw the ball and he ran so fast that I hit him in the back. Yeah. <laughs> he's too fast. He's faster than the speed of ball. Faster than the speed of balls. We had, uh, so we have squishmallows. Let me go grab those. Yeah, yeah. by the way, talk to me about the squishmallows because Zach is sort of has a big stuffy. It's sort of a big stuffy. It's a big fluffy. It does play into his twee lifestyle. <laughs> Zach, speak on that. So we have two giant squishmallows. Shout out to Lord DIY for getting us into squishmallows. Big shout out. These are uh, axolotls. Maggie became very enamored with axolotls, especially when she found out that they are only live in Mexico City. I give them a squish. I just want to know like how dense they are. Yeah, they're squishy. They're that's the whole point. Way squishier than you'd expect. Yeah, no, that's the whole point. They're squishmallows. Can I get a squish? Get a squish. Oh give a, yeah. Give a hug. Give a hug. No, give a hug. Wait, yeah, that is pretty. Honestly, like I've never. Oh, it that's, actually is really comforting. I can see how this would be like a body pillow for someone. One that was lonely. <laughs> Me. <laughs> I'm very needy. This is sort of what you can yeah, latch on to. And so uh, we we had to, first of all, we had to have big squishmallows. You two look so adorable. <laughs> <laughs> They're both holding them, hugging them like they've never been touched before. I'm really love. I mean, there's something that's very comforting about it. It's just how it forms to your body. Yeah. 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 So we had to get really big ones so that Bowie wouldn't think that they were his toys to rip up into a million pieces. Yeah, buddy. And then we started, like, we got another one, and then, like, Lauren's like, oh, my God, I got you, too. And then, like, all of a sudden, we had, like, 17 Squishmallows <laughs> in here. And it got out of control. Yeah, sure. And Maggie, in the quiet of night, took the Squishmallows and took them out to the shed. 
Uh, she took them out to pasture. Yeah, she took them <laughs> out to pasture. them in the backyard. <laughs> uh, the Squishmallow said, tell me about the rabbits, Maggie. So you know. <laughs> she, <laughs> the pop, pop. Yeah. Uh, no, we, we donated those fuckers. Yeah, mm. nice. I mean, essentially, Birdie, my dog, is having a huge tough time figuring out the difference between the baby toys and his toys. I bet. It's a gigantic yeah. thing. And he started to catch on. There's a couple of them that he's like, okay, come on though. Like, yeah. you have to be kidding me. This yeah. is a fucking dog toy. <laughs> You're telling me that's for the kid? Yeah. And, um, and he's like, so he'll take those sometimes. But now he started to learn. There is one toy that we got, the baby, that is a small sheep dog. It like looks like Birdie. Oh, come on And now. he's really heavy. He's like, this is literally my baby. This is a <laughs> son of mine. How am I supposed to, you know? That's well, so like, cute. Sophie the giraffe, which is the best selling yeah, baby toy right. of all time, like that's a fucking dog it's toy. A dog like, toy. don't even. No, yeah. So he loves it. He's been uh, sort you, of. How do you know about Sophie the giraffe? I got friends with kids. Oh, yeah, okay. it's the how do you know about thing? Sophie the giraffe? I don't. But you just said it so confidently. No, it's literally crazy. This guy invented this rubber giraffe, and it is the number one baby toy unilaterally. It's Everyone expensive. is expensive. It's kind of expensive. I think we got gifted, but a lot of people. It's registry shit. So it's like we didn't huh. buy them, but they got gifted to us because it's a and it's the best gift. toy. He loves it. He fucking chews on it. It's like a little rubber giraffe. And it's kind of like cute. It's like pretty looking, I guess. Huh. Tell me this. Yeah. Riddle me this. Yeah, please. Riddle. I, this, <laughs> Riddle. Is not a, this is not a question. It's a statement. And I want to know if you agree. Yeah. I want to chew baby toys. And I'm wondering if you ever see your son and go, move on over. Let daddy get a nibble. Um, <laughs> well, so you said baby toys and then you said nipple. Nibble. Oh. <laughs> I was under the impression that you said, Daddy, get a nipple. No. <laughs> Daddy, get a nibble. Let now, that. you're wondering if I want to chew one and suck on somebody. So here's the thing. I didn't He's, say suck. <laughs> you're wondering if I want to gluck <laughs> my baby toys. Though now that you say that, I guess a little sucking action wouldn't be the worst. I just You're like, looking for comfort, I guess. I, li I have an oral fix... <laughs> I have an oral fixation. I'm, clear. I'm old enough to admit it. Yeah. I'm not ashamed of it. Yeah. I, I'm sorry that I touched your hand just now. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh my God. I gestured and I like... <laughs> it's, it was sort of like, when, it's sort of like when you're walking and you almost hold hands. You're, you're like, just sort oh, of walking sorry. and you're like, oh, whoa. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to squeeze myself for the remainder of the episode. Gotcha. Well, we're I, both squeezing our squishies. Yeah, I just... I, I like to, to nibble... Well, this is making me think of my idea, yeah. which is Babyland, where you get to be a baby for a day. You first station, you get swaddled. Second station, you go in one of those jumper things and you jump. You don't understand Wait, right? this how is a many fucking great idea. Right? You have no many idea. You have no idea how many fucking times I've pitched this video. Try guys become babies, and <laughs> and because it's a well, I think it's, it's a, a kink. kink. Oh, and you're shaming. <laughs> I wanna Sorry, Zach just screamed at me. <laughs> I, I I want I think it'd be so funny. And then Rachel said, we can only do it if you if you may also make try guys pee and poo in a diaper. And I oh. said, bet. Yeah, of course you would want to do that. That's like the best part of the video. That's insane. No, it's you know, no, it's not. I think because <laughs> I think you would do this is a Chris Gethard thing is they had people competition, chug water and pee into the diapers and then they weighed the diapers at the end and whoever's weighed the most oh! won. It was like how much That's urine awesome. can you produce? I th mentally <laughs> the idea of just willfully like peeing your pants in while front of the office while you're doing something else in front of the whole office is crazy. Yeah. And I yeah. Re I, yet people make it happen. There was a college humor show called um Oh, God. A total Forgiveness. Yeah, great show. Great show. And one of the things, essentially, they're competing on different like pranks or challenges to do different things to pay off their student loan debt. And one of the challenges is go to this thing that's supposed to be an art art exhibit. Mm -hmm. And this guy is like, there's a toilet in the middle of this big crowd of people. Oh, no. And the challenge is shit. Like, go into the toilet and take a shit. Under the guise, everyone that's there thinks it's an art exhibit. And he is going and he's like, you have to shit in front of a group of people. This is like capitalism. It's cr cr <laughs> No, it's it's such a good show because it talks about yeah. like how crazy student loan debt, yeah. how horrible it is, like what, what the ethics are of a big company promising this. Is this even ethical for challenges right. to pay off your debt? It's so good, but that's one that like kind of breaks him. It's Grant O'Brien that does it. And it it's kind Keith. of- It's Keith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a guy called Truman that looks like Keith. Well, you'd and, also have to poop. And he has to poop. Um, but anyway- I find this episode- uh, hard for me. It's, Interesting. Wait, no. really? Really? 
Zach, it's very vulnerable because last time I was also feeling like I was like, is this good? Is this good? Is this good? And I was like, in your yeah. house. What yeah. is it? We're in my house and I feel like I'm not able to be zany, goofy boy <laughs> because I'm hosting. Do you want oh, to take- that's so funny. I'm hosting you in my home. Uh-huh. Whoa, that's really funny. So you want us to sort of be impressed and have a good time. I guess so. <laughs> and, and I also like... You know, I know my house, so I can't be like, oh, look at this. Oh, my God, there's a candle with the flower on it. You know, oh, I can't. Oh, I see. That's really funny. Rainy, yeah. did you feel the same thing when we went to your house? No, I think it was just more so I, I felt um, very, I, I just, like, remember when you were like, that was a good episode. And I was like, I couldn't tell. Cause, and it's oh, only yeah. because it's like, I'm like insecure about it. I'm like, well, this is my apartment. What if this episode is bad? Oh, you know? that's Rainy, really interesting. See, Rainy had an activity. And yeah, now I'm thinking maybe the episode's bad. I'll be, I'm going to find an activity. <laughs> Zach is, oh, okay. well, I got the. Do you want to do the Salsies? Oh, we get a salsa challenge, Zach. <laughs> we literally come on the episode. It's going to be so good. Hey, guys, I got, I, I, I got y'all um, some salsas. From, uh... Okay, here's the only thing about the salsa challenge is I think we shouldn't do it on white chairs. <laughs> oh yeah, should we sit on the floor. I think we should either sit on the. I think we should sit on the floor in the middle of the room. <laughs> so that way, wait, okay. Bo- Bowie is just, just sort of saying, "This is adorable." Oh my god, Bowie, sit Z- down. Zach's dog is sort of just saying, "Hey, I want to kind of hang out." But I think we should do the salsa challenge on on, on the floor. And Zach, it's going to be a really, really good ending to the episode because I think you were feeling worried about it. We raided your kitchen; it was beautiful, and now. We are going to do the salsa challenge. So when Bowie was a puppy, Maggie was like, be careful because the things that he does as a puppy, mm-hmm. he's going to want to do when he's big. He's going to think he's a little puppy. Like if you sit on his lap, if he sits on your lap now, he's going to want to sit on your lap forever. And I'm like, yeah, I, yeah. That's oh, and this is something you did as a puppy. Adorable. I mean, it's so fucking cute, really. <laughs> like he, he sort of found a way to nestle himself in my arms <laughs> without me even really asking or trying to do it. Look Bye. to me, this is... <laughs> This is for me because literally, what's gonna happen? Post that on threads. Every time Bowie comes to work or people come over, yeah. Maggie goes, "Was he a good boy?" And I'm like, "Yeah." And he's like, oh, "No, yeah. but like, was he a good boy? Did he do something bad? What did he do? Tell me every." And I'm like, "Nope, Aww. he was a good boy. Stop it." <laughs> 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 literally, no tongue into <laughs> Miles's no nostril, <laughs> and you can show her a picture, and it'll be like, "Look how good he was." <laughs> Look how good the little boy was. The little boy was so good. Um, yes, you're a good boy. Okay, so I'm thinking we got to do this salsa challenge and we should do a full company move to the floor. Yep. Full company. Miles is trapped. I'm a little trapped. I'm going to need the Bowie to sort of do it. Oh, okay, there he is. And he's going to... There we go. There we go. You nailed it. Oh, I think we should do it right here. All right, Rainy, what have you got for us here as an activity? <laughs> okay, well, we had tacos for lunch and they came with these mini little salsies. <laughs> And so I'm thinking we Sorry, each- sorry. Can we can we pretend that I got these cuz it's my house oh, yeah, and I'm yeah, hosting? Okay, we can so, pretend that no, Zach but you, got them. No, but you 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 can still say it and introduce yeah. it, but just pretend that like Zach's hosting and yeah. this was an idea. So I want you to say Jeremy, I want you to say I got these Zach salsas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um so Zach ordered Yeah. Zach ordered lunch for us today. <laughs> Yeah, the way the company lunch is sex lunch. Except, did you get goop instead? No, I, you better believe I got homestayed. I freaking love homestay. Oh, yeah, bitch. Homestay. Ride or die, homestayer. So, yeah. So, do you guys want to do, um, do you guys want to have this be random? Like, whoever gets the easy one gets the easy one? No, or I, don't, do you- I don't drink the red. Hey, so Zach <laughs> Sorry. I'm a green boy. <laughs> what is that? Is it because it's too spicy? Nah, I just I don't drink the red. <laughs> Zach. Okay, I mean, no, no, no. You know what? It's fine because, again, Zach's no longer the king of YouTube. He's no longer the fucking prank challenge king. That is now going to me and Rainy. Yeah. So Zach can have the green salsa, and then Rainy, you and I are going to... I'm going to close my eyes and pick and put my hand out. You're going to randomly give <laughs> <laughs> one of the red salsas so we know that thi- there is no collusion do you think that the red is spicier i have a feeling the red is going to be spicier because well green means go and a lot of places <laughs> red means stop or fire <laughs> i just like the green one it's like it's um vinegary yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i am gonna say i mean should we do these one at a time or should we do them all in one i mean really zach at this point by the way I think it's worth mentioning that basically we did a vlog, a travel vlog, a fucking house tour, and a challenge video all in one. The podcast department is pulling our weight. <laughs> the podcast department is 
Eight videos and for the power price of one. That's mm. right. <laughs> for the of one. Eight videos for the power <laughs> and price of one. Um, I think we should all shoot them at the same time, right? A toast. Okay, wait. Everyone's going to. Well, Rainy is having trouble Sorry. sort of getting her lid off. I have Let a, me make a I toast? have a funny thing for this. Oh, okay. Zach has a funny thing, and he is walking out of camera. Whoa! Zach brought this? a spooky little box to the table. This is a Dibbuk box ass looking motherfucker. Whoa! It says. Fragile. Glass. Handle with care. Glasses vodka? This looks like something that Indiana Jones placed underneath the FBI. <laughs> <laughs> so my grandma... What? My grandma gave this to us and insisted that we keep them. And I go, Grandma, I don't drink vodka. They are Whoa. Russian vodka glasses. Oh! Vodka oh. shot glasses. And, oh, they yeah, couldn't be dirty. They're filthy. <laughs> they could not but, be filthier, yeah. They, they look like giant test tubes. Like, that's, that's so really cool. cool. Are and you supposed to fill it all the way up with vodka? Fuck if I know. That seems like a lot of vodka. That's like a crazy amount of vodka. Russians go hard. Wow. They certainly do. Those are really cool, Zach. Daliana. Cool heirloom for the finishing of the episode, I think. <laughs> I, I just were doing a shot. I forgot that these are filthy. filthy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they are cool glasses, though. Anyway, sorry. So we're each going to give a toast. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and uh, we're going to start with Rainy. <laughs> I'm going to give a toast to... Yeah. Oops. I'm giving a toast to Desiree. <gasps> because who works with us yeah who works with us because i was with her on set today and i just realized i was like wow desiree is like really good at her job and it's a job that i am not good at like if there was a problem mm. we were at the acupuncturist and there was some like the needles fell and before i could even process that the needle was on the ground and that was an issue she had already picked it up and i was like that's really cool <laughs> that's so sorry. Like, i was just like in my own head i was like wait what's happening the needle fell how did it fall is that okay is he bleeding <laughs> and she was just like okay it's gonna get off the ground <laughs> <laughs> to Desiree. <laughs> to Desiree. <laughs> but we don't need to have them yet. I was okay. going to do like a little bit at a time. Oh, you're a little bit at a time. I don't know. Zach, you're making this easier and easier. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it should be one <laughs> big shooter. Okay, here's the thing about me. Yeah. I don't know how to take a shot. This I isn't mean, even Zach, a shot. This is. <laughs> if you want to be in the frat, you're going to have to learn how to take a shot. I, the way that I drink mm -hmm. everything, yeah, you're a sipper. I fill up my cheeks like a squirrel. And then <laughs> swallow. <laughs> so I can't chug. You're storing for winter. I, <laughs> I've just never figured out how to drink straight. So you're like taking a sip of water and you're going. <laughs> yeah, there's a. <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> there's always a cheeks moment. It's a waiting chamber. <laughs> <laughs> that is so interesting and so to me. And it really gets all the flavor palette all up or over your mouth. Back of the tongue, front of the tongue. <laughs> By the way, it wrecks my teeth, I'm sure. Oh, oh, my teeth are fucking going to be yellow forever. I drink too much coffee. <laughs> like, I just don't even know what to do about it. I guess I could get them whitened, but I don't know. Yeah. My toast is going to go out to... Desiree. Bum, ba, dum, bum, bum. <laughs> Desiree. Desiree is super cool and a friend of ours that works with us at the office. Desiree. No, what's your toast? What's <laughs> okay, your toast? I don't know. I hadn't thought of who I was going to toast to. What do you mean? It was your idea. No, I know, but I thought I'd have time to stall. Ooh, I've got a good one. No, I'm just kidding. That was just something I said. I was stalling. You're, oh, you know what's really good, actually? You you saying, ooh, I got a good one, was you stalling yeah, even was, more? It was a little bit. I was like, ooh, if I say I have a good one, then maybe by the time I'm done saying, got a good one, <laughs> and the drum roll is sort of vamping up. <laughs> you get your selfie bar myself three seconds yeah i was like let me yeah i was like <laughs> let me buy myself just a little teensy bit of time <laughs> oh you know actually who i do want to shout out I'm nervous. you're still <laughs> stalling <laughs> oh this one's good oh. <laughs> i got a shout out oh you know what who was just <laughs> I'm falling for it every time you know, too. I'm like, I'm like, oh well, now he's got one. That's good. Oh, shout out to uh, to actually, you know what? A toast to Kelsey Dara. She brought her dog in and it shit on the carpet. It was really funny to me. She's always bringing in these foster dogs that are like, well, Kelsey, real wacky. And the dog just came in and she goes, "It's such a good dog," and it immediately shit on the carpet. I know the dogs are constantly with me. She's like, "It's so weird. He only starts with a, and this is not the time that he poops." And he's done like multiple times. It makes me laugh every time. Yeah. This dog was wearing a diaper. Yeah, the diaper yeah. <laughs> and still shit on the floor, and it shit 
and peed. It peed. It shit before the podcast. We recorded two podcasts, and then it peed. The diaper did nothing. <laughs> it was just like a bandana. It, it was an it. it was an aesthetic diaper. Yeah. Oh, really amazing. And then yeah. and then Kelsey go. She gets a paper towel. Picks up the poop, mm-hmm. throws it in the trash can in our kitchen, and oh, I go, I it's go, gonna Kel- smell like shit. I go, Kelsey, you can't do that. And she goes, Well, don't you guys take the trash out every day? And I'm like, Yeah, it's two o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, so it's gonna smell like shit for the and she like goes, three hours. She goes, Oh, the trash bags are so far, and I'm like. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you brought a dog that was shitting in the oven. By the way, the shit yeah. was in that little couch area. Yeah. Yeah. The it bags. Bad. The bags yeah. were in the podcast studio. That is five so close. Five steps away. Yeah. Couldn't be closer, right? Yeah. And so I she did reach into the garbage and pick up the poop and yeah. yeah. Um hilarious. So to Kelsey. To Kelsey. To Kelsey. <sighs> and my toast. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Oh, this is a good one. <gasps> <laughs> actually though okay i do have it <gasps> no he didn't. and for real though okay this okay. is this is this one is that i think it. is no i won't fuck around <laughs> <laughs> by the way yeah right up my alley <laughs> now nah, i'll stop fucking around oh god oh that scared me and by the way i just spilled my shot <gasps> oh good is thing that we were in white chairs delivery it was the mail the, look at Miles in that little slot. It just oh my god, you have a hole to the outdoors. What if a little man, like, <laughs> you could have like a little slender man, like, s- scurp through that? You don't ever have any nightmares where a little man, there's a little mail slot in Zach's door or as his Ooh. wall. A mouse could easily come in. A mouse could easily come well, in. Well, it's spring loaded. Oh. oh. So a mouse would have to be really buff. Mouse would have to be strong. Yoking. There are easier ways for the mouse to get in. Yeah. Um, my toast mm-hmm. is to Miles and Rainey. Oh. <gasps> The, Whoa. the podcast department here is I can try uh truly the plug the the plug the tripod mm-hmm. undergoing a renaissance. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Uh the plug is a real delight and under your your tutelage and mm-hmm. guidance uh it's it's been one very fun to do obviously y'all watching have enjoyed it. Hey by the way this is a great time uh, mid toast to tell you uh to go over to patreon.com yeah. slash try guys the try try pod pod we're doing uh an extra episode exclusive episode every week we're doing a deep dive into old episodes. Mm-hmm. That's super fun. <laughs> but uh, I will say that because Bowie barked, I spilled. I got some on my finger. I licked it. It Just, is spicier yeah, bitch. than I was expecting. <gasps> yeah, you can't go there back. There we go. You can't go we're going to get the reaction we were looking for. Yeah. I also did acupuncture today That's for right. a video, uh-huh. and they stimulated my tum-tum, and it made me die-die. You had diarrhea from the acupuncture? Yes. What a power. What a forbidden power. <laughs> I know that if I poke you with a needle, you're going to shit yourself. <laughs> it was kind of crazy. Yeah, that's really wow. wild. I also was like, at, after acupuncture, I was like, I have to fart. And they're like, and they said, <laughs> don't. No, the acupuncturist goes, you should let it out. And I'm like, well, I'm not. There's four people standing around me. I'm Whoa. not going to do that. And they're like, we'll close our ears. And I'm like, I'm not worried about <laughs> your ears. Loud. Yeah. And so cares? they're like, okay, we'll walk away. I'm like, no, because then it's going to trap. Okay, fine. I'll get up. You close your ears. So I went to the door like on, the, whole on the other side of the room. <laughs> and then I just stood there while they all looked at me. And I said, well, close your ears. You said that you would. And then they, they put their hands over those, their ears and I farted. And I, I just was looking at them like eye contact while I made a toot. And then. <laughs> Have you ever farted and made eye contact, Miles? With oh, anybody? With Sarah all the time. You're looking at her and then you're like. We are farting, like, I just want to say, I mean, I've said this in many ways before, but it's a fucking constant stream. We are uninterrupted, vulnerable in front of each other in every way. Was it the, do you remember wise, the first time you farted in front of her? It was so early on, I don't remember. It was like so, in, it was just, it was just a fucking arrow in the wind back then, right? Like we, we are, we have been having wars for years and it was just one arrow, a mere fart in the onslaught of farts that were to come. Oh, that's nice. That's <laughs> Nice. I was, was got really confused about what the word arrow meant. Yeah, an arrow, like a, like like from an, a quiver of like arrows. Like an A R R O W, like a Legolas. Oh, okay, I think I think I thought you were saying era for a little bit. No, and like arrow. A mix between, you're saying kind of arrow. It sounds I like you're saying E A R O W. Sorry, you're going to nip it Sorry, this is such a this is rain like when Rainy stopped to send it on the dime. You're saying arrow weird arrow arrow. 
I do believe the phrase is what? Shouting in the wind? It's the idea of... To Miles and Rainey. To Miles and Rainey. And also to Desiree and also to... to Kelsey's Kelsey. dog. The dog the chat. Here right. we go. Yummy. Oh, my God. That's really oh, spicy. it's spicy. I just took a little sip. It was nice. You took a little sip? Mm-hmm. I actually kind of thought that was good. Um. <laughs> Rainy lying after she has her first beer. <laughs> that was really good. I actually thought that was really good. Do you guys have any more? <laughs> like a little kid having their first beer. I actually like the taste. <laughs> um, I will say it was a little spicy. It was mostly chunky. It made me thirsty um, mm-hmm. and uh, filled me with hope. Well, good thing for you. I've got some bubbles. Right. And if you need some bubbles, <laughs> here's my unique. And I'm going to tee up that thing. <laughs> and now's, now's the part, What is he doing? That's the part of the show where we tee up the thing. The last segment. Come on, you're going to make me spell it out? You're, well, it's embarrassing, Zach. I have to tee up my own theme song? <laughs> what? Oh, I've got to say my own thing. Okay. okay Zach, I'm going to say if, and then you say you, you know, back Zach and forth. Zach has been fucking, <laughs> not even taking it up at all recently. Here we go. If you mm-hmm. are looking for advice. <laughs> well, usually we do like a little like funny, like if you're looking for <laughs> bubbles, if you're looking okay, for... And it's right, tied fine. in naturally to the convo. <laughs> okay, start it over. Okay, if oh, don't you are looking for bubbles, you uh-huh. might want to eat a soda, but... We we lost the thread. No, <laughs> we totally lost the thread. Uh, a man who loves bubbles and wisdom is. <laughs> you say the word advice. <laughs> Sorry, is, the only rule for this is you have to say the Miles, word. Miles, please. Is, this is our segment. Advice. What? <laughs> <laughs> Wisdom is advice. Wait, oh, he loves it's. bubbles and wisdom, wisdom is, is yeah. advice. Is. No, is. is don't correct what I said. Okay, so beautiful. <laughs> is advice to go for miles? It's advice that'll go for miles. Tune into your radio station. It's advice that'll go for miles. Everyone get ready, Miles Nation. Miles Nation, go! It's advice that'll go four miles. Advice that'll go four miles. <laughs> okay, <laughs> summer loving, have me a blast. blast. Don't be afraid to pass Hug some gas. <laughs> I've been showing my ass in gams recently on a public sphere. Woo, Miles wearing shorts on the regular. Literally, Let them Zach legs. just guessed it. Relatable king. Okay, so my advice for you, if you're going to be nervous about it being summertime, is to don't be afraid of showing those gams. Don't be afraid of wearing shorts like I was because I was nervous about it for a long time to reveal my slender little spider legs. But now I am showing my legs and I have never received more compliments on my legs. Wow, that was impressive. I feel like men, there's a, there's a number of men I know who are insecure about their legs. They're fearful, <laughs> I think, of showing it all. What, what yeah. inch seam? Uh, the ones I'm wearing right now are pretty short. Yeah, like, do you know? I, I, I know, but I will say... I had worn shorts in the past, and it really made me feel awkward when they were longer yeah. shorts. Ev- Here's the thing. It, yeah. Every brand mm-hmm. sells these Dorco long shorts. Dorco. We want five. Mm-hmm. Five inch or four inch. That's yeah. it. And I'm a tall no, guy. No six, no fucking seven. No. God for eight, go fuck yourself. But I'm a sl- I'm a, I've been like, because I'm a taller guy, the shorter inseam has been making me show more leg. Uh-huh. And it makes me look taller. Yeah, and literally good. so many people have been like, dude, nice shorts. Like those yeah. are rocking your thighs. Claim your power, Miles. Yeah. Claim your shorties. And also, it just makes me feel like summer's back, you know? And I'm such a sweater. I'm fucking boiling in sweat. Yeah. So it keeps help my thighs living warm, cold. 
Miles, hit us with the official tripod theme song. Yabba dabba do, you gotta get a dovin. <laughs> you did peak, so can I get that uh, one more time? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> you did, you did peak, so if you can give that one. Yeah! You gotta get a dovin. I've never used the bottom mm. dovin. It's sort of if you want to roast asparagus. Have a good ass week, everybody. <laughs>